Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube, and here we are in the snot Otta. Um, Dad wanted me to come get some gas, and I have to go pick up my um, bread bowl pasta from Domino's. So I took the snot Otta, and here we are. We're going to go on a quick little jaunt. It should be about 10 minutes. I really don't know how far away it is, and we're not really in the best part of town. So, um, this is kind of just like, <laughs> um, I don't know how to, how to say it, um, like evidence in case I get robbed, I don't know, but we are in the snot auto. um, the steering, I have it in sport mode right now, and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the driving dynamics, um, there's a really bad wheel wobble on this left front tire they really need to be balanced rotated they something needs to be done about them because it sound, it's it's a wah 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 i feel like it's about to fly off or something but um i mean overall road noise really isn't that bad of course we are on a brand new road um so that probably is part of it it's a definitely a lot quieter in here than my civic but that's kind of what you expect with a Honda. But we're on this big stretch of road here, but we've got a little pedestrian, so we're not going to do anything too crazy. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little kick down. So, I mean, it does have, it does pull hard. Um, for a four-cylinder, it's got plenty of pep, um, more than I'm used to. And, um, I, it, it might be that direct injection or something like that, but it's really eager to downshift. If we take Active Eco off, I'm sure that would help some. But, um, yeah, as you can see, we're not really in the most part of town. Our Domino's really is kind of in the ghetto. But I, I'm, pre I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty positive that's with everyone. Is that a new Sonata right there? I feel like it probably is. Yeah, that, that's a new Sonata. The new one looks miles ahead. Jake Mann commented on my last video and he said how he liked how Hyundai toned down the, um, the current generation and I have to agree with him. Um, it looks so much better. It doesn't look over styled. I feel like this one was just, it wanted attention. It was kind of like that, um, a kid that wanted attention that just did stupid stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. That's just how I see it. Hyundai just wanted attention, and so they made their car look stupid. But um, obviously, it's not too stupid if it sold this well. Um, no, I don't hate the car. Would I own one? No. Would I buy one? Hell no. But um, it's not. It's not bad. I mean, it gets you from point A to point B. Um, I assume reliably. I got so much slack, or um, or I got I just got a, a lot of um, negative feedback on my last Kia um, Sorento video because everyone was saying I was oh, too critical of the car. Well, I mean that's that's how I am. If you don't like it, go watch someone else's video. Go watch Sob Kylo Four, okay? Um, spend 40 minutes on a video, and you'll probably be fell asleep before the end of it because I know I do when I try to watch his videos. No offense to him, but um, I really, I can't sit there and watch 45 minutes of uh, a car. I really can't. Uh, boy. But, um, it's, the steering, the sport mode, it, sport mode does do something, and my tour uh, I hadn't driven the car, and so I really, that was really an unfair opinion, but, um, when you're, when you're sitting here, sport mode does nothing, but when you're actually in motion, sport mode does, um, heffing up the steering, if that's even a word, um, comfort, you feel like, um, you could use a pinky, it feels like, it feels like, you know what those, um, those old gaming, like, racing wheels, how it feels like there's a spring and it always wants to go back to center. That's how it feels. It, it feels so artificial. Like, that's what I'm in right now. 
But um, we should get the Patriot back tomorrow. Let's do a little acceleration. I saw the traction like click on there for a second. But um, the roads are wet, so what do you expect? I mean, this car, it's got plenty of power. It really does. The engine isn't refined. It sounds kind of raspy. Um, some of that might be the direct injection that I'm not used to. I don't think any of our cars have direct injection. But um, Altima might, but I think that's the only one that would. I need to get up from this line. Hopefully it's still recording, and hopefully you can hear me. I have my life proof on. Um, I got a life proof free for my phone, um, mainly just because I needed something to protect it from the sand at the beach, because I do go to the beach a lot um, during the summer. We have a house down there, and so um, that's probably the, um, the main reason my car will rack up miles during the summer, is just commuting back and forth to the beach. But um, overall, the seats, the seat. The seats, uh, I'm really not too fond of them. The best seats I've sat in in a car have to be the Altima, and I'm really not just saying that because we own one. I'm saying that because they're so unique. When you sit in them first, you're like, what the f you, you really don't know how to think of them. But once you sit in them for a while, they're really comfortable. They really, really are. Okay, what are you doing? Please move out of my way. But, um... Uh, here we are at Domino's. The, um, I didn't just say that, pardon me. But, um, suspension is a little firm. It's a little firm, but I'm used to it because the Civic's not too soft. But we are here. About to go get my chow on. Well, not really. I've just got to, um, I've got to pick it up. And then when I get home, I'll get my chow on. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I covered everything that you would find interesting. And I will see you in my next video.